Hi, and welcome to Learnist. This is your official guide on how to publish your very first course on the platform. Don't you worry, it's absolutely simple, and I'll walk you through each and every step that is required to publish your very first course on the platform. Let's go ahead and get started with that. So, first of all, you have to go into the courses. In the content section, there are courses and other resources that you can provide to your students. Go ahead and click on courses. Once you are inside the courses, you'll find this big green button that says create the course. Go ahead and click that. Once you click on that, there are some usual information that are required to publish your course. First and foremost, give it a title. For example, you want to teach something uh, regarding the music or something like that. So let's go ahead and say a music course. Then go ahead and put up a price on the course. You can make this course absolutely free or you can make it charge. So go ahead and put up a price. I'll go ahead and put up a price of 10,000 rupees. And then you have to choose whether you want to secure your course or you want to go with the non-encryption course. Once you go ahead and check the encryption, that means your course is 100% secured. Your videos cannot be downloaded. Your videos cannot be screenshot or if they are downloaded, they won't be able to play it. It's absolutely 100% secured. I'll go ahead and use the security because that's what is recommended. And just go ahead and just click on this big green button that says create. So I'll just go ahead and click on this create button. Once we are into this section, then you go ahead and add up your very first section. At least one section is required to publish your course. You can go ahead and add more as well, but I'll just go ahead and click on add section. Your whole course is divided into sections and each section can have multiple of the lectures. So let's just say I want to call this one as section one, or I can go ahead and change it to something like uh, music theory. I'm not really good in music. I'm a programmer myself, but I'll still just give you an example of how to publish these courses. I'll go ahead and click on the save. And then once you click on this music theory, you can add more sections as well. But if you go ahead and click on the music theory section, this is where you add your lessons. Learnist supports variety of these lesson types. You can go ahead and just create like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is my music uh, lesson one. So this is my music lesson one. Then further, you can go ahead and choose up your video, audio lessons, PDFs, which are also secured and uh, cannot be downloaded by anyone. Only the students can actually see them on the platform and can use it. It's very secure. You can also go ahead and upload slides, or if you're planning to take up the live sessions, you can go ahead and plan them up. You can go ahead and choose articles, section quiz, assignments, whatever you like. So go ahead and pick up and upload your video. Once, for example, you go ahead and click on the video, let's go ahead and continue that. Once you are here, you can go ahead and upload your videos. It's a super simple drag and drop. You can just go ahead and drag a simple video and just go ahead and work with that or you can just also embed the video as well. The ambition embedded can be done via any platform like YouTube, but remember when you embed from the YouTube, your security is a little bit compromised. We cannot secure the YouTube videos. We secure the videos which are directly uploaded on the platform. Then let me also walk you through with a couple of important things where you should know about the things. This is the settings button, and you will also see the settings button here at, on the home page as well. The home page setting is about the whole course setting. But once you go inside the lesson, this is the setting for the individual lecture. I can go ahead and click on this and you can control the lesson a little bit more and fine tune it. For example, you can just go ahead and say, hey, what should be the title of the lesson? Whether it should be a paid lesson or should be a trial lesson so that user when they enroll can see some of the trial lessons. You can go ahead and add short description, long description can individually add thumbnails for it. And do you want to show this a lecture into the syllabus or not, you can just choose that here. Further, if you wish, you can add more features like lesson tags and all of that, but usually that is not required. If this is your first course, you want to just go ahead and get started. So this is about individual lecture settings. You can go ahead and add more of this. Once I go back, now once you have added all the lessons about videos, PDFs and all of that you have uploaded, now it's time to see and check out all the settings to publish your first course. I'll go ahead and click on the settings. And once we are into the setting, then here are a couple of sections that you need to go through to publish your course and make it available to your students. The settings and the sections are general. Then we have pricing and permission related settings. Some of the features that you can enable and disable and then finally publish or delete your course. Don't worry, I'll walk you through with each one of these settings. First, let's go through the settings of general. Once you click any one of them, all of the settings can be done within inside the platform. I'll click on the branding first. This is the part where you should uh, focus a little bit of the time because this is what your students are going to see for the very first time. Give your course a really nice name which addresses what students will be able to learn, what will be the outcome of this, this course. 
go ahead and add a short description, a long description. For the long description, you can go ahead and stylize it however you like with all the things available like text, table, uh, headings, whatever the format you want, all the things are just drag and drop. You can just select the text and go ahead and style that. Let me walk you through with one of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and work in this. So you can just write a short description. You can write this one. Once you have a test, you can just go ahead and make it more big by heading one, or you can make it more colorized by using different options that we are that we have here. For example, for this text color, I'm going to choose a little bit of orangish. You can go ahead and pick up your own stylings and colors. Then simply go ahead and upload the image. The upload image is usually recommended of size 1024 by 576 pixel to so that it can look best. If you don't know how to make these images, uh, we recommend using Canva, which is a great platform. If you're not a design friendly guy, they can help you to pick up some nice templates and can have a really good, nice image. Then you can embed the video as well. The promotional videos does exceptionally well in the conversion rate. Students really need to know what they are buying. So if possible, go ahead and add a conversational video uh, for the promotion of the course. Once you're done with all of this, go ahead and write this description. I'll just add a test here and save this. This is the part one of it. Then is the SEO. Your course need to be listed by Google and other search engines as well. Go ahead and give it a nice URL, which is memorizable and easy to access. Go ahead and give your page a title. I'm going to just use test for this one, but you can go ahead and write that. You also can write some SEO description so that your uh, course can be featured on the search pages. Go ahead and save this one. Then you can optionally add tags so that your course can see some of the tags. It's optional. Others is authors. Go ahead and add authors. If you don't have author, just you'll get a chance to add up here. Uh, just right here on this big green button that says add author. I am already an author in this school, so I'm going to go ahead and just save. It will be shown on the course homepage. Then FAQs. This is really a nice section. People really have some of the common questions when they are building up the course. So go ahead and click on add FAQ. Write a good question that student might be asking and go ahead and answer them for them. It's really a nice way to have in the course. We highly recommend to have some FAQs in each and every course. Then let's go back. This is it. Told you, it's really simple. The general part is all done. Now coming back, we'll go with the pricing and permissions. So let's go ahead and click on the pricing plan. Now before publishing a course, you need to have at least one pricing plan. Just go ahead and simply add the pricing plan. There will be a separate dedicated video explaining all these pricing plans and options, but for right now, we'll just choose one of one-time purchase. Go ahead, give it your plan a title. This is just optional. It's totally up to you. You can choose any name up here. I'll just choose this one as one-time payment plan, and I'll go ahead and make this price as uh, this is my 10,000 rupees course. Uh, I'll discount it a little bit so that it check marks that and put it up there. So I'll just go ahead and use the 9,000 pricing. You can choose your validity for how many days you want to have. You can also have a trial duration, you can set location on your school. Rest of the things really doesn't matter. The most important part is payment gateway. Learnist allows you to integrate your own payment gateway. And in fact, you can integrate multiple of payment gateways. There is a separate video on it. Go ahead and check it out. I'll just go ahead and select on this. I'll use Razorpay or feel free to use any payment gateway that you love. And go ahead and select this is a normal plan and I'll choose add pricing plan. But this is not all done. Once you have actually added this, go ahead and make sure that it is showed under the published plan. All of the plans are here so that you can keep them and turn them on and off whenever you want. Once you're happy that this is the plan that needs to go live, make sure you check out the published status of this plan and it needs to be in the published category. So the first time you created your plan and the second time you're publishing your plan. Once the plan is published, now you're ready to go ahead and publish your course. This is important. Make sure to check it again in the published section. There should be at least one plan so that your pricing can become active. That's it. Let's go back into this one. So I'll go back. Now, if you have mobile apps from the Learnist, Android app and iOS app, you can set the custom pricing for them. And you can also enable some of the permissions. Maybe you don't want to sell this course independently. You only want to sell them in the batches or the bundle. You can check mark as sell independently or not. You can also give more information about course should be public or unlisted or should be available on all platform or just on mobile apps and should have app sync or something. You can go ahead and select all these options which you wish. If you don't want to select, that's okay. Then comes up the feature. Learnist provides a lot of features in the courses. For example, anybody can review or rate your course, but if you don't like it, just uncheck this. You can enable discussions and bookmark for the students. Students love to have discussion in the course. Go ahead and check mark that. 
You can also have leaderboards in your course based on the assignments or the quizzes. Students love to compete. And if you give them a chance to compete, they would love to do it. So go ahead and enable quizzes and the assignment leaderboards if you want to. Then simply fast checkouts are simply the way so that anybody can just quickly sign up and buy your courses. Then go ahead and configure your certificates in case you wish. There will be a dedicated video about certificates as well. Uh, if you want to, go ahead and check it out. Then is the content dripping. There will also be a separate video about the content dripping, but this is a way of unlocking the video lessons one by one so that student can remain consistent and disciplined. But there will be a separate video. Go ahead and check that out as well. Then learner configuration. In case you are doing business in B2B market, business to business, go ahead and if you want, you can request for the GST, date of birth or the PAN in case that is required. Let's go back. Most of these sections in the features are just features. You can enable them or disable them or just completely ignore them. It's totally up to you. Then comes is the last course, which is the published course. So once you click on this published course, make sure that you click on this live button. Once you click on this live button and click on the publish, that is it. Now you have the full idea and full control of how to create your very first course, all the necessary details that are required, and apart from this, we also now understand totally that how to publish your very first course. I hope you have enjoyed this guide. If you have any problem, any doubt, reach out to our support team. We would be happy to help you in order to publish your very first course. Best of luck, and I'm pretty sure your course is going to be absolutely rocking. Can't wait to see what you're building up and what course you're bringing up on the platform.